Hello everybody and welcome in. Emperor Bubbles is here. He returns once again with the continuation of the Empire's 2v2 surprise tournament. It is uh, the Emperor and Arash again teaming up. It's uh, Emperor's Odrissian Kingdom and Arash is Pontus. They're facing two stout, girthy competitors. The Odrissian Kingdom is Ultrid. And Parthia is Massa Max. Let's take a look at our army compositions and get underway. The Thracian, the Odrysian kingdoms, lots of Thracian warriors, two, three, four, five, six, with two Thracian nobles, two of them, and five girthy Thracian peltas, four Thracian horsemen, and the Thracian royal cavalry, with two more Thracian warriors in the back. Here's Arash's Pontus Cappadocian, two, three, four, and five, with the Pontic Royal Cav General. Got some Gallic Warriors on the sides, two Thrao Spear, three Pontus Swordsmen, and uh, what was that three Eastern Spear or uh, Slingers, with four Scythian Horse Archers. They've got the work cut out for them. Look at this deep, deep positioning by the enemies. The Odrysian Kingdom, Thracian Cav, two, four, and six of them. And then a lot of melee, two Thracian Warriors, three, four, and five. Make it six and four Thracian nobles with the Thracian Royal Cav General. Parthia, four Sarmatian Horse Archers, Royal Cataphract General, Eastern Cataphracts, three of them. Hillmen, four Parthian Swords, uh, four Parthian Foot Archers, and three Eastern Spearmen, guys, if you tuned in the last time, the Emperor and Arash won their opening round matchup, and then here, Ultrad and company won this matchup as well. So the stage is set, the winner has a date in the winner's bracket final with uh, probably Hammy and Asair, but that's not set in stone, they still got a long ways to go, as immediately, look at this, you are out skirmed. is that 10? 10 skirm cav to your four to your four so a huge deficit to start off this battle as it's certainly going to be uh you know probably these enemies here i don't want to stay too idle idle for too long Adrissian kingdom very susceptible to arrows very susceptible to rocks from the slingers so they've got the workout out for them as immediately Skirm battles underway. Still, that's the four horse archers against four horse archers. But then there's these guys. It's the Odrysian Kingdom Thracian Cavalry. And they are no pushovers. As that kill warrior, ouch, taking a huge hit from the arrows down to 87 men. And as Phil Swift would say, that is a lot of damage. Would not want to be behind that one. And again, Annihilating that unit, 49 men just like that, killing over half the unit. Blessed, blessed damage as he still strikes upon. See, uh, the Emperor still has not sent over reinforcements, probably gonna need to. Now the push is on. Want and the Odrysians, the Emperor, and Arash, they are moving their troops a little bit quicker. Still walking some Thracians. Yeah, the threat is on. As still the Sarmatians shoot as those kill warriors. As these guys these guys pose a threat. You know, they got decent melee stats. Those horse archers have caught. Will be hurting. So there goes a kill warrior. Now they're moving their focus to the Pontic sword. So the melee of Pontus taking big damage. Look at that. 91 men left, 30 dead already. It's now the Emperor starting to move some horse. I know what he does later because uh, I was, uh, that's me. I remember the battle, praise be. But still, it's a skirmish battle. Uh oh, the Scythian horse archers caught. It's now the uh, Thracian horsemen trying to get in, trying to catch these men active. They might be able to catch them if they're not full stamina. They push out. Look at that speed on those units. They are escaping. I do not think those Thracian Cav will catch as the Sarmatians enjoying this 
slaughter 49 kills 54 kills 65 and 45 we're only a few minutes into this battle now look at this a potential to cut off this unit here for the odrissian kingdom and ultrad is good kills still uh, still 32 kills by those men 38 8 don't see the other one there he is six so some decent kills as still a Thracian calf cannot catch but this Scythian horse archer uh oh he has been isolated from his troops doing everything he can to escape as the pursuit is on by the Thracian cavalry the exchange is being made Pillin being released, bodies dropping, horses caught. Those men will certainly route. So a full, you know, not a full, maybe a, what, a half ammo left on that horse archer? And he's gone. He is gone. Not the start that uh, the Emperor and Arash wanted. As guess whose melee is untouched? It's the enemy. It's uh, Parthia. And the Odrissian Kingdom, a little bit of a civil war here with the Odrissians and the Odrissians. By the way, this tournament, $100 on the line and ultimate glory. Another reminder, we are doing tournaments like this every other Saturday. So not this weekend, but the next weekend, there will be another tournament. Not sure what it's going to be yet. I think it's going to be a three versus three. So if you're going to be uh, around, I implore you to join. And I also implore you to like comment and subscribe if you're enjoying the battle thus far this could not be uh, done without all you brave fighters Let's look at this massive shift the uh, uh parthia massive axe and ultrad have not really budged far from this red line and uh it's the emperor and arash pushing around their men active they are and active is pontus so now we have some movement some defensive units the thracian peltus Putting up a uh, bit of a wall here. Still these slingers as well. Those slingers could have turned, but uh, so far they have not. The nice little uh, contingent trying to defend. Nothing going over on over here, but looks like like a rash wants to start having something go on. So it's Thracian horsemen just getting picked apart by the brilliant display of skirmishing. Down to 33 men. That's a lot of damage. The Emperor brought four of those Thracian horsemen, two being used defensively, and three of the Thracian Peltus. As there's some strikes, finally some offensive play. As the shift is on, they are moving, not wanting an engagement yet. Still feeling each other out, guys. This is a uh, classic 2v2. This is uh, teamwork extreme. I wanted to talk to Arash during this battle. But he wouldn't talk to the Emperor, he said his girlfriend was over. What a shame! What a shame, all the girth and glory should be to the Emperor, it's dang running. it. So is Thracian Peltus, wow. Let's look at the armor, only 30 armor on those men. They are paying the price. Those horse archers showing no mercy. Looks like uh, the Pontus horse archers have backed off. They are still trying to find their footing in another strike down to 28 so less than half on that Thracian horseman this horseman doing better still 60. look at this this is almost a almost a red line camp but not really i thought about it during this battle it's like are we red line camping not really because look the enemy started the enemy started right here look at how close they are to the red line they forced our hand they have forced the emperor into rash's hand now the battle lines, we might get a more distinct battle line. Look at this, Odrissian Kingdom, uh, Ultrad is fresh. Uh, Parthia though, their troops winded, they have been running. So let's take a peek at those uh, horse archers, gotta have used most of their ammo, they are tired. Impressive kills by them, 91, 85, 101, and 79. Here we have some, uh, some more Thracian calf pressing the left flank. Look at that push. You can see the Emperor's uh, clickings. He's pushing this army way left. Try to get them over there. And guys, as the army is shifting, the enemy, you know, this could be their time to strike. The uh, uh, the Emperor's not set. 
And are these slingers? Oh, there's some slingers in here too. So the slingers, two slingers, two foot archers. Looks like they're beginning their strikes as now. They can have their way with each other. They both are facing, and I think we do have some distinct battle lines being set up. These uh, Thracian Peltists still sticking around, but uh, the other Thracians moving. At this left flank, guys, the Thracian Cav tired, this Thracian Cav tired, and uh, but look at this, Thracian Horseman fresh. Something to keep in mind as the battle progresses. And still, I'm assuming, you know, these horse archers, they could probably target some units, maybe hit the Cappadocian, maybe hit uh, and clean up that Thracian Horseman. There's going to be some massive plays here. Here comes Ultrid. And the Emperor not set up, going to have to reform his lines if you see it there. That Thracian Cav taken care of. We'll wrap that man up. Five and dwindling, he's gone. Let's see, ooh, choosing to pursue, guys. A tired unit, can he escape? It's like he, uh, he will kind of escape into the Thracian Warrior. So the protection is on these Thracian Peltists. Oh, they're going to be targeted out. And here we go. Big hit. But the Thracian Horseman right there to boot. Right there to support that Thracian Cav. Regretting this decision. Only one kill on the Peltists. Right flank not yet engaged. Thracian Peltas shooting upon those Eastern Spearmen. Do not want that. As the Cappadocian and Arash in, killing 60 on those Thracian warriors. They're deep in the back here. Wow, look at that target. A Cappadocian, a full volley. Hitting them and hitting them hard. Ultrid pushing in with the general. But look who's around. We got uh, two Thracian Peltas. The other three, uh, off to the right. This looks like he, he is committed. He's in a suicide dive with the general. And the Emperor must capitalize here. Arash must capitalize. This general is in no man's land. As the Emperor's general 60 and strong, my game crashed. So guys, the Emperor's PC crashed, but we're picking up right where we left off. Ultrich General has suicide dived in to the enemies. And the Emperor recognizes, he recognizes the importance here, needs to kill this General down to 46 he is. There is a Thracian Noble nearby trying to deal all the damage as the Thracian Peltas need to back up and throw their Pillum. There he goes, the General trying to escape. But there's going to be a magnificent, magnificent move, look at that. Recognition by the Emperor, and they are in full pursuit of the Thracian Royal Cavalry, and this Thracian Cav, idle. He is fresh, but that could be a full unit gone. And Ultra gonna have to turn and take a big hit. Straight in they go. The General could be down. This could be game-changing as in he goes. A nice, nice strike. See if you can route before we turn our attention. The, the rest of the forces have not engaged. Those uh, Eastern Cataphracts still holding tight as the Emperor and Arash way deep against the red line. There goes the general. The, the uh, Ultra's general is dead. That Odrissian Kingdom general gone. And now we go. The Thracian Cav finding the nobles in. Big hits. Back to back big hits. Now the Eastern Spearmen in, trying to hold, but still, look at that spooky unit. No charge bonus for Ultra there. Missing the charge, the Emperor gets a clean charge. These three Eastern Cataphracts, that is the big, big worry for uh, the Emperor and allies. Straight in, Ultra not. I don't think, he, I think he missed that one again. His Thracian skirm cab just getting annihilated. Tempers General at 44. Those Thracian nobles did their uh, best duty. As uh oh, the Thracian Peltas are being pursued in, and they are found and struck hard as the Cappadocian right there to try to support. That was a big hit. 43. They're not routing. 
So good news there as our battle lines shift. Still with those summation horse archers holding firm. Left flank looking pretty good here. Trying to gain some ground. But still, those foot archers and slingers, they are uh, enjoying some nice strikes. Not many units around who can deal the damage. It's the Parthian swords. It's like they are getting hits? I can't tell. It's like they are. That's a nice strike. But most of the unit is here. It's like they've missed it partially. To the cataphracts kills 82, 62, and 87. It's the Thracian horsemen trying to hold off. Trying to withstand the brunt of Parthia. Guys, Parthia is such a, such a good faction. Especially as the Eastern Cataphracts, very versatile. Do see more of that versatility being used here today. Just trying to weaken this flank here. Get these melee units, get them out of the game. But still 79 Pontic Swords. We see some shifts from the Emperors and his Thracian Peltists. As the Thoreau Spear, wow. Very bold by those Sarmatians. But uh, they were just a uh, loosening force. As the Cataphracts, will they charge this Thoreau Spear? That's the question. It's like the Thoreos is moving. No recognition from Parthia. AKA no movement. 26 Thracian nobles, those Eastern Spears, just a nuisance for those Peltas. Emperor doesn't want those uh, Eastern Spears into those Peltas at all. It won't kill them. But uh, just, uh, you know, you gotta get those uh, units safe and sound. Here comes some Thracians straight in. And Arash sees the cheeks, wants the cheeks, hits the cheeks. Nice strike. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage indeed. Weakening those nobles as a huge unit. That unit offers a morale bonus. As there are still four arrows and projectiles for Parthia. Ultrid and his Odrissian kingdom. Only in, uh, one of these nobles left. Those Parthian swords being targeted. 37 cataphracts, 45 and 50. As of right now, not looking the best. But the Emperor and allies, guys, this uh, shot camp, extremely deadly. The balance of power, though, stating that we, uh, we've got this. Emperor's got this. What's this? The Parthian general. Way, way deep. Probably don't want that charge there. Those Thracian cam, a little bit squishy. But it's the Pontic World General. Who will come in and take the hate? Pain. Now they are close. The Emperor must switch his focus. The General is here. Why the General is here, I do not know. Now it's time to go. Get in there, Emperor. Go, go, go. He's sitting idle. The General's right there. Get in there. So now he does. 23 row cataphracts. Arash's General down to 10. But the pressure's on the rear. There's a rash shifting some Cappadocian. Looks like they've been caught, so the Eastern Cataphracts charge has been disrupted. But still, look at that. There's a 22 Thracian Noble to potentially defend. As that Thracian Horseman doing a good job. In comes some supportive, or some support from those Thracian Peltas. I believe those men were out of ammo. But look at that. Parthian foot archers targeting the Thracian nobles, but the Parthian general is gonna route. The general is dead. So the emperor's general still standing as a rash's general still kicking. Yes, the so two generals versus zero. Look at that shift, that charge has put it in favor of the Parthians as we are in the deep, deep end game, anybody's ball game. As those foot archers fire upon Targeting those Thracian warriors, the Emperor still has one noble, good morale boost there. Thracian Peltas, four of them still standing, and I think I remember this moment in the battle. My general, taking some hits. I believe I only have one Peltas with ammo left. I think that's the case, but I know Arash still has all uh, his ammo. Not all, but you know, he's got three slingers who can deal some blows. You know, coordinated an attack here. They don't know our ammo situation. That's the thing here. They do not know this ammo. They don't know what kind of girth we have hidden under. 
and we're just certainly not going to show our hand. A little bit too cocky here. Like these Eastern Slingers. Yes, they do fire. And they do kill a stake by the Emperor. Probably one of those units a little bit later, or a little bit longer. The Parthian Swords now. Taking a hit. 60 men standing. As a rash. As has been. But here comes the pressure. Winded cataphracts. In they go. In go the Peltis. I think the pursuit is on. Everything coming is the arrows fire upon. Horse archers the first to fall using a pillum. So those Parthian swords had a pillum, used them on the Thracian Peltis. Probably not the case, uh, not, not what you wanted. Look at that though. Those Sarmatians with combination of the Parthian foot archers have routed a slinger for Pontus, and that's a lot of damage. So when they go, the defense is on. Those Parthian swords, yes. It's like the as the attack order been given as a general struck upon down to 24 the Pontic general gone still two slingers as this Parthian sword has bit off a little bit more they could chew like the Emperor's going for him but still Parthia idol is there in those units not set not steady not ready they take a nice strike a nice strike indeed. The Parthian swords down to 47 and routing. There they go. Magnificent work. Even the slingers joining in on the melee extravaganza. So who do you got, guys? One minute on the clock. The Eastern Cataracts 15, 27, and, and 15. Four units of arrow. Two slingers. Four Thracian Peltis and the Thracian Royal Cav. General, well, I tell you, the order has been given. The strategy is decided. It's time to push for the Emperor. As the Eastern Slingers being targeted. But here come the Peltis. This Peltis, I believe, still has ammo. It's the Cataphracts, guys. Keep that in mind. Tired Cataphracts. As those Slingers, I think they're going to get caught. They do get caught. The Peltis in, and now we go. Here come the Cataphracts. And they are stuck by their own men, not getting a charge, and the Slingers firing upon. There go the arrows. Parthia dwindling, the Cataphracts routing as the Peltis throw their last bit of plume. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finish a spectacle. A high energy finish as the Emperor Rash take the semi final matchup and find themselves in the winner's final. What a game! What a game indeed. There are your stats right down to the bitter end. It was looking just hopeless for the good guys. Ultra is a good guy too, and so is Max Max, but of course, the Emperor Rash, the true heroes. As there you have it, 1,700 kills for the Emperor, 1,100 for Rash, 1,700 for Massamax, 1,000 for Ultrid. Look at that, the Peltis guys, nearly all of them putting up impressive numbers. Those Thracian Nobles, very solid. And that Cav, they were defensive, they were good. And then the General sticking around as long as he needed to. Arash, his Horse Archers doing good work. Those Celt Warriors not able to deal any damage. They were assaulted the whole time. Massamax, there's his stats, his general lost him a little bit too early there. Having that guy endgame would have been huge. Not sure why he wanted to send that one Royal Cataphract in alone, but it proved costly as those horse archers, very, very cost effective. And the other troops, Eastern Spearmen, not doing much, but those Parthian swords, pretty good numbers. So here's Ultrid's Odrissian Kingdom, Thracian Cav. Probably want a little bit more kills, especially if you're going to bring, uh, you know, I guess it was one, two, three, four, uh, six. Six of the Skirm Cav, Thracian Nobles. Not quite enough damage. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Boost the algorithm for the Emperor on YouTube. And until next time, glory be upon thee and glory to the Empire.